My mom tried to put me in lessons when I was little, but like I, I didn't take it serious. Um, but I was kind of like not very social, I guess, in high school, and so I spent a lot of time like in the dark room or uh, in the art room, and so I got you know better just by doing it more, and with like a little bit of focus and help from my art teacher, I guess. She kind of directed me, and then I went to art college. No. So I did a mural in South Eugene High School when I was there. And then I did like a contest and had a drawing in like Peter DeFazio's office for a little bit. It was a great creative outlet for me, I like being a quiet person. And then I went to Cornish College of the Arts in Seattle for two years. Um, and then decided to do a study abroad in Athens, Greece. And then I came back and you know I'd been gone. I'm, I, my family is here in Eugene. You know, like when you are making a drawing or a sketch and you like are trying different things and then it overlaps and it's kind of like the history of your drawing. And I just got interested in keeping all those lines. Like I have a painting in my house that's of the angel Gabriel and he's got like three faces. And it was just like I was trying to figure out which way, which angle he should go and then it, it kind of went together because, you know, um, there's like the human life and then the spiritual, the angel part, so it's kind of a morph. He's got wings on one side and stuff. And then I just kind of ran with that and, you know, cubist is, you know, you can see things from a different perspective. I'm really interested in the ideas of self. I've done a lot of Asian art, like not just the geishas. I had a whole geisha series. Um, there's a samurai there, but I've done like um, Buddhas and stuff because I did a lot of reading about Eastern religions too, and there's like there's the idea that there's no self, but then like I like existentialism too. So there's like a lot of focus on um, the self and the individual and like interconnectedness. So that's kind of where the multiple faces came from. Having an assignment like um, urban jungle was kind of um, hard for me, I guess, because it. I take things kind of literally sometimes, <laughs> so I was like, actually like looked up the definitions for the words and like their origins and like was like, I don't know, because it's also kind of a cliche topic in a way too. I kind of whittled it down to like urban being chaos and the jungle more serene, even though it's like dangerous and kind of those colliding in the center. I kind of realized like urban jungle could almost describe a lot of things that I do <laughs> artistically, so. I went with it, and then the owl is like a messenger between two worlds, so I could show you my sketchbook, it's just like pages and pages of like messed up drawings, <laughs> where it's just like, if you looked at it, you wouldn't know that it's the sketch for this, because it's, it's just like a conceptual map. It's just like, I know it's that, it's like reading someone's bad handwriting, <laughs> you know, it's like solving a big math problem. Cause I don't. I always think I have a plan, but it never goes that way. It kind of takes its own path, which is also kind of like life.